Heart disease is the number one killer in North America. Most of us know that high cholesterol is a major risk factor. Exercise, eating right, and medications can help get your cholesterol numbers down. But for some people, none of those things work. Doctors at Mayo Clinic say those people may benefit from a new cholesterol-absorbing machine that removes bad cholesterol from your blood. Well, I've always liked motorcycles, and uh, I've just been riding them as long as I can remember. But Martin had to put the brakes on riding when he had a quadruple bypass. His arteries were becoming blocked because of dangerously high cholesterol levels. The highest I've ever seen was 380. Martin tried hard to bring those numbers down. He was fit, he exercised, ate right, and took cholesterol-lowering medication. And still my cholesterol was really high. You see, usually your liver absorbs cholesterol and stores it, reducing bad cholesterol, or LDL, to levels where lifestyle changes or medications can manage them. Martin's liver can't do that. And therefore, the LDL cholesterol has nowhere to go but to circulate. Dr. Sergio Torloni says this makes Martin's risk of blocked arteries very, very high. But thankfully, a machine that absorbs bad cholesterol out of your blood is helping Martin stay heart healthy. It's similar to dialysis. The patient's blood is separated by a filter into plasma and other components. The machine absorbs the bad cholesterol from the plasma, then the plasma and other components are mixed together and put back into the body. After a procedure, my numbers are really low. I mean, perfect, exactly where they should be. Down to 140. Martin's blood gets filtered once every two weeks, a small inconvenience for life. Dr. Torloni says this procedure is not right for all patients with high cholesterol. It is almost exclusively used for patients who have a genetic condition, familial hypercholesterolemia with LDL receptor deficiency. It can also be used for those whose levels are above 200, even though they've tried medications to lower them. Pre-approval from the insurance companies are needed. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.